<clears throat> okay, so we're going to be looking at Jeffrey and Nate's relationship. Now, I have a gut feeling, but we're going to look at the cards and see what they say. I have a gut feeling about this one, though, so we'll see. See if my gut's right. Usually is. So we know that Nate is a Leo uh, and Jeffrey's a Scorpio. And that doesn't surprise me because we pulled the Queen of Cups. Okay. So um, the Three of Wands is about liberation. So obviously Three of Wands, we know their relationship is, they have interesting boundaries, right? Which is good for them. That's their relationship. So that's a little bit of the openness. We do see the three of wands. That makes sense. There's three people here sometimes in a relationship, you know, because they, they have an, a, a, an open thing where Jeffrey lets people in or whatever, whatever their thing is. That's fine. I got no problem with that. Uh, that's not a problem, by the way. If you guys are, are worried about that, I don't really see that as a problem. Uh, I have a problem with something adjacent to that so the world card is reversed which tells me that they found solutions to a lot of their issues in their initial relationship which is about the openness and about the boundaries and barriers and things like that um however my five of cups is disappointment and my magician card is reversed they have fundamental communication problems point blank period their communication is extremely wishy-washy they're either really good at communicating or really bad they have bouts of both. So it's like sometimes everything is on point. We're, we're communicating perfectly. Everything's working out. Sometimes our communication is so poor that I don't even know what the hell's going on. This doesn't surprise me because Jeffrey's so busy. However, I don't believe that this is on Jeffrey. He's a Scorpio. I'm pretty certain that this is on Nate. Um, so communication is definitely something that he's going to have to get a little bit better on because I think he leaves things a little bit open. Like I think his style of speech is a little bit open, which can be a little bit emotionally, you know, sort of like, ouch. Um, now the sun is upright. So for their relationship as a whole, I don't really see a huge problem. That's usually a pretty good sign for happiness. Um, now my seven of pentacles is upright. So they're definitely comfortable with one another and they definitely appreciate one another, but my empress is reversed. So the Empress being reversed is a lack of self-love, a lack of self-care, and overtly nurturing. I do think that uh, Jeffrey is a little bit too, like, mom. Uh, so uh, I think that's a part of Jeffrey, though. I think he genuinely likes nurturing people. Uh, I think he's going to have to learn to take a few steps back and kind of let Nate be on his own and spread his wings. Um, but the Temperance card is about patience and balance, so they'll figure this out. Ten of Wands tells me that uh, it's a burden worth having, so they both definitely enjoy each other. But I did see the Queen of Cups reverse. So emotionally, I'm not 100% convinced that uh, Jeffrey feels secure. Um, the Queen of Wands is reversed. So the Queen of Wands tells me that Jeffrey definitely has, I mean, I don't know if he's talked about this because I'm not really sure, but that means that Jeffrey definitely has a little bit of confident issues in like his uh, look and his body and his image, especially when it comes to Nate. So he definitely feels a little bit insecure. Uh, so I do think there's a part of him that sometimes looks at the way other people look at Nate or what Nate is interest, interested in or what he says he likes, or whatever, and kind of, gets him a little bit like a little bit ticky like you know it's like twitchy you know um the six of swords is upright um and then we see the ace of swords so the six of swords is the internet and the ace of swords opportunity so it's also about distance so those are like i said before those are other people people in dms people saying things shit like that uh basically people reaching out to get him i will tell you this there is one person who is 100% a Thadiana, because the Queen of Wands also represents an, a Thadiana. There's a Thadiana that is consistently throwing themselves at Nate. Uh, this is someone who does it via the internet and other means. However, they may have connections in real life. Uh, this person has been consistent and incessant for a while. Uh, I genuinely think that this is a fucking problem that Jeffrey is going to have to handle, because the Nine of Pentacles is a single card. Uh, this King of Swords is about selfish energy, and this Judgment card is about public embarrassment, public humiliation, uh, insensitivity, petty issues, and love reverse. So we're looking at a Thadiana here that's gunning for him. 
uh, and is going right for Nate. So he definitely needs to keep an eye on, on, on this. I'm pretty certain he knows who this is. Pretty certain this person's been consistent. Uh, it's one of those things where they're kind of embarrassing themselves, but they are getting under his skin. I'll pull a few clarifications for Oracle. Or with the Oracle deck. The moon is reversed. Hmm. Yeah, this is the Thadiana. I knew it. This is the Thadiana. So, you guys, I mean, I know there's a few small issues, but overall, I'm not really that concerned. So, the moon is reversed, which tells me that everything in the dark will come to light. All secrets will be exposed. And they're also pretty upfront uh, with each other. This is the Venus card. Love is pretty good. The Sagittarius card, they, 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 this is what they need to focus on is independence. They're learning this though, so I'm not really too worried about that. Uh, I also think that we need to be a little bit more, uh, how do I put this? A little bit more straightforward in speech. Like I know we're blunt and we're upfront in certain things between the two of them, but basically Nate needs to be a little bit more forward. Just a little bit more. Um, the Earth card is reversed because there's a problem with stability. And then we see the Mars card reversed and the Air card reversed, which tells me that it's someone else trying to talk and get into people. The Mars card, they're ineffective. Uh, that's the other person who's kind of shaking up the stability. It's like this, there's this other Dadiana that's like incessant. Um, that's going to drive any Scorpio crazy. Yeah, the Saturn card again. We have to see the same card here. Uh, the Saturn card is a huge lesson. Uh, so it's more along the lines of learning boundaries which they, they're working on. So overall, I'm really not that concerned. I'm, re I'm really not that concerned with their, their relationship. I think they'll figure it out. The only issue they're gonna have is that Jeffrey's gonna have to pull back a little bit on Nate. Nate's gonna have to be more of an individual. And I also think that, I don't think their boundaries are bad for their relationship and how it's like open and stuff. But I do think that sometimes, I do think that sometimes, uh, I mean, Nate is a Leo, so it's, this is kind of what happens. But I do think that Nate sometimes is catered to more than Jeffrey. Sometimes. Uh, and I do think that part of that is because Nate isn't exactly the best communicator. Uh, and if you worked on that, I think it would fix the balance a little bit better. <clears throat> well, I wish it was good. I love the 